In this video, we are going to go over how to use the movie editor in the 3D viewer in LASX. So I should note that the version I'm using is the 3D Advanced. You may only have the 3D Basic, in which case you won't have access to some of the options that I'm going to go through. So let's go over how to activate Movie Editor. You just check the box next to Movie Editor. And then next to Movie Editor, you can see this icon for Save Image. This allows you to take basically a screenshot of the image that's in this window. All right, so once we check the movie editor button, this menu appears on the bottom. The idea is basically you put in frames of the video that you wanna make, and then you can preview them before you export. So for instance, I always like to start from home. So this is after hitting this reset viewer button, I add the first frame. And then the next thing I like to do is zoom in a little bit. We can add a second frame here. So you can see that as I'm adding frames, these lines appear on the bottom. Bottom. The next thing I want to do is do a little rotation. Um, I will do a custom angle of 30 degrees vertically, plus or minus. And then I will do a rotation horizontally. So you can see I'm adding frames here. And then at the very end, maybe I want to go back to my home position so that we kind of go back to the way that it was. Over here, you ha you can have the number of frames. You can see if I, if I change this to 200, these little divisions increase. Um, so if you find that your movie is playing too fast, or if you have a lot of different things you want to show, you can um, add or subtract frames. You can also choose to do a single play yo-yo or a loop. I'll put it on loop, and then this is the speed at which your video is going to play. So if I want to preview this, I can see how it's going. Now I'm doing left, right, bottom, forward, and then back to center. So I can click on any anywhere in the movie to basically kind of step through my frames. And then if you open the settings, I'm sorry it's cut off from your screen, but you can basically make different things appear or not appear. So for instance, I'm about to go into the clip planes. So I'm going to check clip planes so that I can make that scene. So the nice thing about this movie editor is that it doesn't take very long to go through and just play around with your settings to get the movie that you want. Let me go ahead and set up a more complicated movie. I'm going to clear my frames and then I'm going to use this clipping plane to make a more dynamic movie where I will bring in the magenta channel and remove it from the view. So for instance, I have it fully viewed here. Let's go ahead and uncheck that frame. Click add and I'm going to zoom in. So I'm going to start with it somewhat zoomed out. Then I'm going to go ahead and slide it up and then slide it back down. Then maybe if I want to zoom in and do the same thing. And then let's go back to the original view here. And then let's do a single preview. So you can see that it just seamlessly transitions from one thing to another. If you wanted to make it more start-stop, you can add frames in between those motions so that you can, there's a, a clear break between different actions, such as the rotations or the clipping. So when you're ready to save, go ahead and hit the save button. And then here are all of the different options. This will depend a lot on what you're hoping to do and what system you're going to use to maybe edit or project these images. I mean, sorry, these movies. It depends on if you're using Apple or Windows a lot of times. The frames per second, you know, 25 is fine. And then you can choose your render quality and size, frame size. 
So then it's always a good idea to take a look at the movie that you made and see what kind of changes you need. The first time is rarely perfect. So for instance, this goes by way too fast and I would definitely want to slow this down maybe by adding more frames or, cha or changing the frame rate when I exported the movie. I'm also thinking that the quality of the rendering could be better, so maybe I would change that as well. So this is the end of the movie editor 3D viewer tutorial.